All right, so here I'm gonna go over how I make my labels for my honey jars or bags or anything. First, I design them in uh, Inkscape, which is free software. It's a 100% free graphics software similar to uh, Adobe Illustrator. Real good quality software. Uh, so here you can see I've got one, two, six, eight uh, labels that these are going to be used for my uh, honey flight bags to seal the top. And I just design them out in uh, Inkscape. Save them off. This is a letter size, or excuse me, a legal size sheet. So it's eight and a half by 14. That's what size label paper I have. So I use that and then I import it into my software, which I'll show you here next. Okay, so here it is in the software. And what it basically does is imports the, the shapes and the graphics in this case that I designed. And so if I do a print preview, there you go. So it's a higher quality in the print preview. And what you want is these little registration marks right here right inside there that one just one over here there all four corners you're gonna see those and there and so those are what you use to line up your cuts and I'll show you that next so first what I'm gonna do is print this and then I'm gonna take it over to the uh, vinyl cutter and I'll show you what I do with it. Okay, so here we go. So the only thing you gotta make sure you do is the orientation of the printout needs to be the same as the orientation on the computer. As you can see here, that's where it's feeding in. That arrow is feeding in. So looking at it this way, this is how it was laid out. So this is where it's gonna feed in. So I just have to make sure that that's how I feed it into my trimmer. So I'm gonna turn it around. Feed it in right here. Just line it up as best I can. Lock it in. Okay, and then I come over here. This is the K and K Zing uh, vinyl cutter. Okay, I'm gonna hit Cut Project, and then over here, what it's gonna do is uh, set it up fairly close to the beginning. It doesn't know exactly where. Okay, and so you can see my laser light there, hopefully, and you can see that registration mark. And so this software tells me that blinking light, that's the one it wants. So that's the right, uh, as it gets fed in, it's the one on the right if I'm behind the trimmer, right? So now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to just line that up. Actually, first I'm going to adjust the steps to be larger. So 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do, okay. So, you can see we're close, but we're not quite there. All right. Okay, so it's not gonna let me turn my flashlight on, which is gonna make this a little bit tougher, but let's see if I can still do it. Okay, so there you can see I'm going the wrong way. So that's pretty close. Flashlight makes it easier. So once I'm done with that, I'm gonna come over here and hit next. Now, all software may be different, but watch when I hit next, it feeds my feeds my paper. And you can see it's close. That's pretty dang pretty dang close but not quite and then here you can see it's now asking for that other corner blinking light so okay so I've got that pretty good as good as I can see. Usually, like I said, I usually use the flashlight. And I can't see that. So now I'm going to just hit next. And that jumps over to here. Pretty close. Just going to move it over just a little bit. We're going to hit finish. It's cutting out those prints that I just made. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Now we're going to take it out. And I'm gonna try to show you if I can peel this with it sitting on the ground. One handed, this is uh -oh. There we go. It's amazing how much you need both hands. Okay. All right. So there we got it. So there you can see. You know, it's it's cut that shape all the way out, right? And uh, unfortunately, I don't need one right now, so I'm gonna just stick it back, but you get the picture. Um, so now let me show you what it looks like. All right, and here's the sticker that I had cut out. I'm using this for a, it's a flight bag, a honey flight, that's got three different locations. And it's the four ounce mousse and just, you know, subtle differences between the flavors. I've got a little note about my, you know, about what the flight is. And then there's the sticker and it just, there's the further back image. It's a, just to seal the bag, keeps it closed, has my logo. It's got my website and uh, just wraps over the top. So there you go. That's how I make custom labels for anything, jars, bags salve containers anything lip balms whatever you want to do thank you for watching have a good weekend